All right. Free the chicken first. From its watery grave, defrosting in the sink. Always keep it back up when it comes to olive oil. I need more right now, but don't want to have none in the house. All right. If I didn't say so already. Welcome back to the town's end. I know you can't see my face right now, but uh, that's fine. I had to. I don't have a cameraman, so I have to pick the best angle for what we're doing and then stick with that for now. Now, I'm uh, just giving them each a quick little olive oil bath. These are the chicken thighs. It's just, I'm using dry rub but uh, and other seasonings, which stick, obviously stick better to the chicken and the skin if there's a little coating of oil on it. You know, a little more than the natural fat of the chicken. Get more of the uh, delicious dry rub sticking to it. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. Just putting a little olive oil on the chicken. It also helps if you happen to leave it in, whether it's on purpose because you prefer it this way or not. But you go over the 30 minutes that's ne necessary for thawed chicken thighs to cook through. Uh, the olive oil will just keep it from really burning badly. You might have a little more like crispy skin, which is okay, a uh, preference thing, but uh, it's, it will keep it from burning too quickly. And it will keep the chicken from drying out as quickly. So yeah, not perfect, but you know, it's up to the person cooking, I guess, preference-wise, if you like crispy chicken or if you want it uh, just juicy. But, uh, yeah. I sometimes leave in a little extra. If it's not 100% thawed because I'm in a hurry or whatever, or was late getting it in the hot water, um, then I'll put it in for a little extra time. Now, now, next thing we got to do is get a fork out. Uh, that's how I turn the chicken as I season it. Just adding a little bit of this other stuff before I go and put the dry rub and other seasonings on. Fancy. Yes. Can I poke it? Yeah, well, a little bit of extra kick, uh, even though it's not much, because even though this is uh, can be spicy if you put a lot of it on, it's also incredibly old. It's one of those seasonings that oh, okay. we had for probably over a decade. <laughs> it's uh, now brown, and it used to be red, but it is uh, it was dry, and it's not rotten or moldy. It's just uh, like most of these things, if they don't rot or mold. They just lose some potency. It's just it's still, just a little old. Still a little flavor to it. It's just weak. Yeah, just a little old. But that works because I want a little bit of spice without yeah. it actually uh, causing a bathroom emergency later. Yeah. Which uh, some of those 
from the hot ones show even they, when they taste yeah. good they uh they don't always digest well. well i don't usually have issues like that with spice they can be rough it might, that, might just be a you thing that but. medium spicy one that was that was brutal like six months ago i used tasted uh, great but uh, i paid for it did you put the sprinkle cheese on there yet not yet I'm not doing that yet gotta start with the other stuff on the other side oh makes sense then I'm going to put the last two things on before when I'm done flipping. Because no, the chicken. cheese comes off the easiest, the dry rub and the cheese. So I put them on last. Oh, uh, yeah. So they'll be sitting on top. Okay. Let's see. Uh, All right. A little bit. Come on. This is that stuff that I got through Amazon that tastes amazing on pork, chicken, and I haven't tried it on steak, but I doubt it's bad. It tastes amazing on chicken and poultry, which, you know, it's kind of, they put it right on the box. That that's what they designed it for. Now, with turmeric, I learned the hard way, if you're going to eat this meal, um, don't eat it in your bedroom or, you know, anywhere where you have linens that you care about. Because uh, it doesn't matter what you do after you get it on there. You drip some chicken, you know, juice with turmeric in it onto your sheets, they will have a yellow tinge forever. It will not, you will not get it out without destroying the fabric. I should start the oven since it doesn't take that long to get to 350 really. Now the final seasoning on this side. The dry rub of choice and then I'm going to finish it with a little parmesan which almost feels like breading on the uh, chicken skin when you pull it out of the oven but smells and tastes amazing because you know it's parmesan cheese so of course. Chunked up a little, I think. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's like more than half full, so clearly just needs to be broken up. Yep, yeah, there we go. Been a little humid lately. Not good for things like this. All right, that's enough of that. Little parm is awesome on just about any of these. It's a great uh, lower carb way of adding the feeling of uh, shake and bake to things like pork chops and chicken. But uh, yeah, without the carbs of breadcrumbs and whatnot. Yeah, probably enough pepper on this. Certainly enough salt, sodium, and uh, more than one of those things we sprinkled on. All right. Now, I will use the YouTube short videos to display the finished product when it's all done. All right. So, yeah. You just got to give it 30 minutes in the oven once it beeps. And then I will uh, do a little short video of what it looks like finished. Thanks for coming down to the town's end, and uh, I'll see you next time.